Okay, you know what today is? Today is wasabi day. Got my wasabi in and do a little unboxing here. Let's see. I did open the box, but I really didn't dig through it too much. I just kind of wanted to make sure that it was what it was. So this is really the first time looking at them. And so far I'm impressed. I mean, there's a lot of root on that. I know when I looked at their videos, the the growers, when I looked at their videos, some of their stuff was really, really small. Um, but I'm impressed so far. Now there's supposed to be a couple of dozen in here. So I don't know if it's just these top ones or what, but this actually in here will eventually become the rhizome. Rhizome-esque. I don't think it's actually a rhizome, but that's what everybody calls it. And that's the part that they actually make the wasabi but you can eat the leaves. And even in here, you can see there's little leaves and they're starting to pop out. I'm really impressed with the roots here. Um, I actually filled my pots somewhat with soil. There's a smaller one there. Um, and I'll probably have to take some of the soil out here. Okay, there are some smaller ones, like that's a smaller one there. So maybe they, maybe they just put the big ones up on the top to get me excited and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in a, a one gallon square well it's called the number one it's not really a one gallon but it's I think it's probably a couple of quarts actually but they call it a one gallon because um, I don't think that they'll grow that much this winter so what I'll do is I'll put them in these one gallons and then see how they do over winter plus I have uh, this it's actually I think it's supposed to be for like Christmas ornaments or something like that and then it has the big dome that goes over the top um, after I get it set up maybe I'll show you that but uh, one thing with uh, this wasabi it really likes moisture so with that lid over the top it'll make it you know like a little rainforest in there plus with winter coming I'll have it in the greenhouse and then this covering it'll it'll keep them warmer and I know they don't like it uh, below like 37 degrees which we do get on occasion not very much but we do and I could always you know if it's we get a little cold spell I could bring them in the house if I had to um, but this is nice I mean this is gonna be a long haul they say uh, two year two to three years are really what it takes to get uh, some good rhizomes going and then also once you once you get your rhizomes, then you'll have little pups that'll kick off the side. So whenever you uh, grab your wasabi, you'll get all those new little starts. So you'll be able to start new plants for the future. So anyways, this, uh, I think originally they grew this in, uh, it came from Japan in the cold, uh, cold water streams in the hills. And they actually grow them in gravel uh, beds, uh, the running water, the fresh water runs through the gravel and then these are almost like kind of like hydroponic I would guess um, but here we're gonna actually do it in my this is my compost which I started with wood chips I uh, brought in a couple of hundred yards of wood chips over the years and it's slowly breaking down so this is just I stratified this down to uh, some nice stuff and then also I did put a little bit of clay in the bottom it's kind of like a clay mix so I might do a few different ways just to see how they do um, see how particular they are but uh, all right well I'm gonna get these potted up before they start drying out they're very moist right now and I want to keep them that way all right see ya all right I did get one potted up here and one thing that's very important is when you are planting these you want to make sure that the rhizome is above the soil you don't want to bury it it's kind of like a strawberry i think it kind of seems like this is how i do my strawberries i make sure that that center part is above the ground so and then some of these have kind of and i did rinse these off because they had that uh they were in that growing medium kind of to keep them moist i think for shipping so I did give them a little bit of a wrench just so I could kind of see what's going on and see which way's up and which way's down. And as you can see, this one has a huge taproot. So 
I don't, you know, I probably should cut it. Normally I would cut it on a plant like this, but I'm gonna, I'll probably cut some and then not cut some and just see how it goes. And then I'm just putting some soil in around the outside edge here, trying to keep it off of the plant itself and then just kind of packing it in. You know, you want to kind of pack your soil down a little bit. You want to give them some room to move and grow through the soil without too much trouble, but you still want it firm. You want to try to get all the air, air pockets out, you know. You don't want any air in there. And then two, I've seen some people online that when they plant them, they put gravel around it. I do have these clay balls and I'm gonna try the red ones. I think they're made out of clay. I'm gonna try those on some of them. I probably won't do them all. I'll plant a lot of these in different ways just to, I figure that that way my chances of succeeding are better if I switch it up a little bit. But as you can see, see that one is well above the soil and it's not gonna fall over, it's, it's nice and tight in there. And then all, this uh, compost is actually kind of moist, uh, but I will give them a little bit of a drink after I'm done just to kind of get them incorporated into the soil and compost. All right, that's it. You know, this is new to me. Uh, it's a very, very exciting uh, crop for me. I can't wait to see how they do. Um, I spent, you know, I probably could have went to several sushi dinners with friends and family but uh, this is going to be a fun crop actually this one here if you look at it it actually has a little start off to the side I mean I probably could pop that off and start another one but I think I got 24 and there was actually a couple in here that were extra which was nice because like that one there is kind of I mean it's up close to the camera but it's actually quite smaller than many of the other ones like this one here and they did say that they would come in different sizes they wouldn't all be one size fits all so all right I'm, I, I gotta get going the sun's going down and I want to get these things in the soil get them going see ya go eat some sushi all right so we got them all potted up and uh, like I said I did put a, a few with these uh, little clay balls around it um, some people grow it with a little bit of gravel around each one. Um, so I don't know. But I'm worried too. They, I don't think I mentioned, but these are supposed to be grown in the shade and they don't need any full sun at all. In fact, they'll do poorly or even die. Um, I know Paul Gauchi, he grows his out in straight sun, but from what I've seen, most people say grow it in the shade. So what I did do is like kind of just going around here. And just pushing that dirt around I want to make sure that, that rhizome is not below the soil and make sure that there's no air pockets and then oh I'll have to get that lid I really wanted to show you the lid I have but then I'm gonna just give them a little bit of watering here just to kind of water them in a little bit not a bunch you know you don't want them standing in water or anything like that so if this container has any water in the bottom of it I'll dump it Trying to go by what the manufacturer said. They gave me a little list of kind of how to plant. I think it's a foot apart. And so there you go. And I was going to hold one back also uh, to try. But I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to, if they make it till the springtime, I'll harvest one. Like I think some of these bigger ones, like that one, I probably could have um, tried to grate it and eat it you know and some of them have like little offshoots like that one actually has two it has one shooting off there and this was actually one that just fell off off of one of them so i thought well it had a little root on it and also the manufacturer says that um i think all of these had a little somewhat of a root but they said that even when they get shipped without roots they'll do fine i don't think it's necessary that they have the roots on there i think they just have to have that bottom part of the rhizome um what else i don't know i'll show you if i can find that paper on the manufacturer because i'm really impressed with these so far um if these don't make it you know i, I don't know i'm guessing it's either me or the soil or the universe or something but i'll get that lid and i want to show you how i'm going to put that okay, here's on. the lid so this will actually be like 
a greenhouse within a greenhouse. And then I have this little planter in there just to keep, just let some air in there. You want air, but it'd be really nice if there'd be some moisture build up on the inside. So we'll see how this works. And then, like I said, this will actually get sun tomorrow, so I'll have to move it tonight into where it doesn't get any sun at all. And I'll leave it out, you know, just in the shade. And then as the uh, winter comes upon us, I'll have to figure out how I'm going to get it in the greenhouse and then in the shade. Maybe under some kind of a potting table or something like that, or even shade cloth. Um, but I'll still leave it in this container. All right. Wish me luck. Okay, I wanted to talk about the folks that I got these wasabi from. And um, I think you can look them up. Uh, Oregon Coast Wasabi. And then also the Wasabi Store online. Um, and if you go to their website, I think it's the wasabistore.com. And here's some of their products they have. Like you can get a gift card. This is the actual wasabi if you want to purchase it. Like I said, it's $45 for a rhizome. And then um, also they have the little, the process that you go through to uh, to grind it down. I think it's shark skin or something from a shark, some part of a shark. Um, or it takes kind of a special grater and it takes some time to do it. I guess it's, let's just say, 2 ounce, 60 grams in weight for 45 bucks. Um and then also they sell some products. They sell uh, like some seasoning salts, uh, wasabi powder. If you check out their website, you'll see all their stuff they've got. Oh, here's here's that thing I was telling you about. That's this is a whole setup here. Um, a culinary gift pack, fifty five bucks. So you get what is that? A quarter of a pound rhizome. A wasabi grater and a brush, some kind of a Japanese Tisha wash wasabi brush. So, let's see. We'll go back to where here's the plants. This is what I got here. So that's the starts there. And like I said, they're 17 bucks a piece. But if you buy bigger quantities um, the price goes down this is each so if you get uh, one it's 17 bucks three it, they're fifteen dollars a piece five they're 13 and so on and then you know me I, I went in large and then uh, also when you sh when you order from these folks um, if you they ship out on Wednesdays, I believe it is. So the cutoff is Saturday. Like I, I ordered on a Wednesday, so it actually didn't ship till the following Wednesday. So I think if you get your order in Saturday night by midnight, they'll ship it that following Wednesday. Otherwise, it'll be the following week. So depending on when you order it, it could take uh, you know a week to two weeks to get it. But uh, let me think, what else? I don't know if there's anything else. If I remember anything else, I'll come back on here. Boy, this is a lot of segments. So if you can, uh, you know, and you're interested in this, check these folks out. So far, I'm, I'm impressed with what they're doing. Um, they're in northern Oregon, somewhere on the coast. I think their, their uh, nursery is actually like kind of at a secret location. I know they don't have any kind of um, tours or anything like that. So maybe, I don't know if it's for security reasons, they're worried about people coming in or they're just not set up staff wise or, or why they don't let people in. Maybe they will someday. I think they're a fairly new company. I think uh, they started about 10 years ago, but I think they got pretty good size here in the last couple of years. And I believe it's a husband and wife um, team that started this. All right, enough rambling. See ya.